Okay, so we've got a cylinder here. It's 0.9 of a meter in diameter, and it's 1.7 meters high. You need to work out the cubic capacity of it. So we want the meters cubed, and we want the literage of it. So when we have a cylinder, just as a refresher, we take the height in meters, and we times it by the area of the end, uh, area of end, uh, and if we do that, we get meters squared, uh, sorry, squared, and when we times those two together, the height by the area of the end, we end up with meters cubed. So, we've look, got a circle here, the formula for a circle, in this case I'm going to use pi times d squared over 4, that's going to give us the area of the end, and what we need to do is always enter our figure in metres. So, into this equation here, we've got pi times 0 0.9 metres squared over 4, and if we do that on the calculator, so we've got pi times 0.9 squared divided by 4 equals, at that point, I'm going to write, uh, I'll write it here, so we get 0 0.6362 metres squared. We know what the height is over here, it's 1.7 metres, so I'm going to write that below it, 1.7 times the area of the end, 0 0.6362 equals 1.7, we get 1.081 metres cubed. So that's how we work out the cubic capacity of the tank. We times the height by the area of the end and that gives us metres cubed. So now that we've got metres cubed, Eight, 1 meters cubed, we can then times it by 1,000. In a cubic meter, there is 1,000 liters of water. So we're going to times 1.081 times 1,000 equals 1,081 liters. So that's how you work out the cubic metres and the literage of a tank. Leave it there, thank you.